Hi guys, good to see everybody back again. I hope that you've enjoyed another week in your bubble, that you've been finding some interesting things to do and enjoying, enjoying your home learning, those of you who are doing some of that. Hope that it's all going well for you. Now, if you've tuned in the last few weeks, you will have met some of my pets. I've introduced you to Blue, one of my goats, and to Vienna's chickens, and to Lollipop, the sheep. Now, I don't actually have any more animals, so I can't introduce you to another animal this week. So I had a talk to my kids, and I said, well, what shall we do? And they suggested, oh, I know, a puppet show. Except I don't really have any puppets, only a few that aren't very good. So we decided, mm, what else can we do? And we decided to put together a little skit of a Bible story. So we're going to show that to you shortly. Um, the Bible story is one that you might know. It's about the Good Samaritan and it's on the topic of being kind and caring, which I think is something really important at the moment, especially when we're all living at home in our bubbles. So let's have a look at what they've put together. So once there was a man who was on his way down the road from Jerusalem to Jericho just minding his own business when all of a sudden along came some guy from behind a rock, he mugged him, the guy fell down and this robber came along and stole all of his money and he left him lying on the road which really wasn't a very nice thing to do. Poor guy. As the man was lying there, along came a very important person. They saw the man lying in the middle of the road and they thought about stopping to help him, but ugh, he looked a bit grubby and he wasn't too sure about all that. So they walked on past without bothering to help the man at all. So as the man was lying there really hoping that he would get help soon, another very important man came along. He looked at his watch, he looked at the ma <coughs> man and he thought, no, I really don't have time for this. And so he carried on and left this poor guy stranded in the middle of the road. So as the poor man was lying there, another person came along the road with his donkey. Now this person wasn't somebody that usually liked people from their country. They were from another place and they weren't the sort of pe person that they normally thought of as kind. But this man came along and he helped the poor man lying on the road. He bandaged him up and helped him to get up so that he could feel much better. The donkey was worried too. <laughs> Once he had bandaged him up and wiped his face and his cuts and helped him, then the man was ready to take him off to get some more help, to find somewhere for him to stay and to get better. So he put him on his donkey and off they went. The donkey's not too sure if it wants to be ridden. And, it helped, and he helped the man to go and find somewhere to rest. All right, thank you. I hope you enjoyed that story and thanks to my actors and actresses who um, helped me out with that. Now that story comes from the Bible. It's a story that Jesus told when he was on earth and he told the story because some people had come up to him and they were asking him how to live. And he said that they needed to love their neighbours. And they said, well, what does that mean? Who's our neighbour? Who are we supposed to love? And so Jesus told them this story. And he was trying to get them to understand that your neighbour might not be the person who looks like you or lives near you or that you're friends with. It might be somebody very different to you. It might be somebody that you don't normally like spending time with. It doesn't matter. Jesus wants us to be kind to everybody, no matter what. And which of those people in that story was kind? Have a think about it. Was it the person who was very posh and fancy and looked very pretty? Was it the person who was in such a hurry because they were a very important person? Or was it the very ordinary guy who was prepared to stop and help the man who had been injured? 
I think you know the answer to that. Okay, so we can have a think about who we could be kind and caring towards. Hmm. Some of you might say, well, it's a little bit tricky when we're home in our bubbles. We can't go and see people. What do we do? Who can we be kind and caring towards? Well, first of all, there's the people in your bubble. And sometimes your family can be the hardest ones to be kind to because we spend lots of time together and it's very easy to get a bit grumpy sometimes. So think about sharing and taking turns with your brothers or sisters. Think about helping mum or dad or being quiet and giving them some space if they're busy working. That's one way we can be kind and caring like Jesus wants us to be. Then there's our actual neighbours. Now Jesus was talking about everybody being our neighbours but during lockdown when we're home in our bubbles we can't see very many other people and we can't get too close to our neighbours but I've heard a lot of people say we've talked to our neighbours lots more than we usually do because sometimes they're the only people we see if we go for a walk or we're walking past the gate or something and so we can think about being kind and caring to them as well. And then there's the other people that we can't see, but even if we can't go and see somebody, we could be kind and caring by giving them a phone call, talking to them on the computer. Maybe we could send them a letter or a picture or make a video to send them. All sorts of things we can do. So think about how we could be kind and caring to others because Jesus wants us to be caring to everybody that we can. Right, now we're going to teach you a song about that in a minute. Um, but first I want to talk about a little verse that Jesus talks about in the Bible where he talks about us sharing our light and that we should share our light and let our little light shine. So Jesus says in the Bible that he wants us to be the light of the world. He wants us to let our little lights shine. When we have a candle or a light shining in a dark place, it makes everything brighter. And it makes everything happier. And that's what Jesus wants us to be like. He wants us to be kind and caring, to do things for others, not just thinking about ourselves, because it makes the world a brighter place. And I think that's certainly something that we all need right now. So we're going to teach you a song. You probably know it, a lot of you. This Little Light of Mine, and I hope you enjoy singing it with us. All right, let's give it a go, shall we? This Little Light of Mine I'm gonna let it shine This little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine Are we gonna hide it away? No Hide it under a bushel, no I'm gonna let it shine Hide it under a bushel, no I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine and we're not going to let Satan blow it out, no. Don't let Satan blow it out, I'm going to let it shine. Don't let Satan blow it out, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. And we're going to let it shine till Jesus comes again. Let it shine till Jesus comes, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine till Jesus comes, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let's sing it once more together. This is the light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This is the light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Awesome guys, thank you. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed singing that with us today. And I hope you can think of some ways that you can shine your light this week, that you can be kind and caring to the people in your bubble, maybe to your neighbours nearby, maybe to other people who you can't see, but that you can send something to or talk to and make their day feel a bit happier too. And hopefully we'll get to be be back together again before too long. Have a great week, guys. Thanks for listening in. See ya.